idea. If you didn't like the movie, I don't think it's the script's problem. But uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Right, moving on and moving on to what is our exclusive. And this is something that I'm, I'm really, really excited to talk to you guys about. So... Uh, I was told that John Boyega is in talks to, is it, sorry in talks with Warner Brothers to star in a future DC Comics movie. So this was something I was told a, a while ago, and I've said this, I think every time I've ever done any of these exclusive videos uh, on here, it's it's something that I am very cautious about. Again, small screen is not a scoop site. That's not what we're about. But sometimes we do get sent these things, and we get sent. I get sent a lot of stuff. I have to sift through a lot. A lot of times people don't respond to my questions and queries when I or when I try to verify that they are who they say they are. I always try and do that. And I also ask them if I can direct quote them. And I also say that as my sources, they will be completely safe and I'll never say who they are. There's something called source protection. As a journalist, you can protect your sources. You don't have to, you, you, by law, you do not have to reveal your sources, um, which is nice because often this can result in people being given, well, it can result in people losing jobs, which isn't isn't nice. Of course, is is actually terrible for some people. So it's just a, it's a safety procedure that I like to go through. So I was this news anyway was brought to me by somebody um, who I hadn't really worked with before, and they basically said I'll bring it up here on the screen, and I will actually stretch it a bit so that you don't see my. I should have probably checked this before, but it's been a very busy day. Right, so here we go. The first person to come to me with this news said that John Boyega and Warner Brothers are in talks. Uh, it's for a future DC Comics movie at the moment. I don't know which role he's in talks for, but it's for the movies, not a TV show. So that's the very first thing that came to me. And then I was like, okay, uh, you know, I, I verified who they were and I was asking them a bunch of questions and they were like, we don't, you know, that this is all I know. But again, this is one person. And when it's one person coming to you with this stuff, you tend to, I, at least I do, I will not run it until it's been corroborated by people that I actually have worked with in the past and that I do trust. And then, so multiple people then came to me with the same information. And, the, and then one that I do, I do trust a lot, actually, I've worked with quite a lot in the past, said that Warner Brothers and John Boyega have been locked in talks for some time now. It's for a DC Comics role, yet it's been kept under wraps, which role it is exactly. So it, it's something that is obviously being talked about a lot. And he, John Boyega is a fantastic actor, really, really brilliant actor. He, of course, has been in the news recently uh, over the last couple of months because of what he said about Disney and how he felt that, that they treated actors of color in the Star Wars movies, which was really brave of him, to be honest. And he, of course, has been a, a big advocate of the Black Lives Matter movement. He was down in London and he was protesting with people. He is someone that has been has become a bit of a kind of a cultural icon for many people. And he's not, that's not all he is, though. He is also a very, very talented actor. He's shown in the likes of, if you watch Detroit, which is Catherine Bigel Bigelow's movie, which is really, really good. It's really hard hitting and he's brilliant. And he was in Attack the Block, which was Joe Cornish's like first feature movie. And of course, his his debut as well in Attack the Block. And I, I love that movie so much. And he's also in Pacific Rim Uprising, which is not a fantastic movie, but he's actually really good in it. And of course, I, I also think he's very good in the in the Star Wars films. So he's someone that is is getting a lot more uh, in, people a lot more interested in him these days, and uh, rightly so because he's a very talented uh, actor. He's also one of the guys that seems to be in in the kind of potential. He's one of the potential actors that could play Bond. Uh, ones that people bring up a lot. He's a, he's a lot. He's in the betting quite a lot, and I think he's a very good bet. Actually, I'd I would I would be very much behind John Boyega being cast as as uh, James Bond. But yeah, this is something that that I've been sitting on for for a while, and I've kind of tried to 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 get these people to to kind of find out who the role is exactly what the role is exactly. He's up for. He has been. Uh, tweeting this this is now speculation he has been tweeting about red hood so that could be something he could possibly do in in the future maybe come up in the robert pattinson batman film but again the red hood backstory wouldn't quite align with robert pattinson's batman so then the other possible role is green um green lantern and i have said time and time again that, that he would be a brilliant green lantern but of course he could be up for any role in the dc comics universe there are so many incredible and interesting characters in the dc comics well comics uh, then the universe that he could he could take on and, and and really make his own it doesn't have to be 
like a red hood or a green a green lantern or alien a green a green arrow maybe it's not you know he that there aren't that there aren't just those roles they could kind of go really do deep cuts and come up with a another character that could be then put front and center in the dc comics movies and i think that would be a really good idea as well and make really give him the chance to sink his teeth into that role but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below let me know who you think john boyega could play that'd be interesting to know to find out what you who you guys think he'd be good for which role he'd be good for let me know in the comments below